Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Forge Class Junkie, otherwise known as Junkyard, because that's actually his original name. But I'll get down into that in a little bit later. You know, a little bit later. Um, but before we go into depth with this figure, we're going to take a look at the packaging very, very quickly. So we have a beautiful CGI image of Junkie, AKA Junkyard, you know, in all of his glory, um, which is pretty cool. I love this design for Junkyard. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, his name is Junkyard. I don't care. <laughs> He's 8614 Studio Series, Junkie. He's an Autobot, of course. Transformers, Hasbro, Takara Tomei, Generations. From Transformers, the movie, the 1986 movie. And no plastic, but hey, the backdrop is actually the the at, at Junkion. So the planet of Junkion, yeah, the Junkion planet, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. See the Junkion ship right there, that's pretty cool. From the Transformers the movie, and another image of Junkie, aka Junkyard. You can see number 86 right there, and again a full close-up image of his head, and he is indeed a Voyager class right there. And here we have the obligatory product shots being shown on the back of the box. Of course, this sticker is covering up his name, which is hilarious. <laughs> and it comes with the Junkion dance party scene. And of course, Autobot logo. Because at the end of the 1986 movie, you know, you know that the, uh, the Junkions became Autobot Junkion. So, yeah. So, 22 steps right there. The robot mode, the bike mode. And of course, it says, the, the bio says, Junk Keep leads the efforts to piece together the remains of Ultra Magnus. That is so true because the Junkions actually helped the Autobots to bring Ultra Magnus back to life after he was, you know, being shot down by the Decepticons, being shot dead. Um, so yeah, so that is definitely a true statement. And uh, yeah, that is it for the packaging itself. Again, no plastic, which hurts my soul. <sighs> <laughs> but there you go that is it for the packaging itself so now let us get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this awesome toy so let's get it on man let's go and here we have Autobot Junkie on Junkie fully transformed into his motorcycle mode and uh yeah <laughs> I absolutely love this figure now this is Definitely a um, a heavy retool of the uh, Studio Series 86 Retgar mold, and um, I think they did a really good job on this. They wow, just just wow. Who knew that we would be getting another Junkion in the SS86 line? That's amazing. I love the Junkions. I love Retgar, so right off the bat, I love Junkie. This is a really well done figure, as far as I'm concerned. Um, there's definitely a little bit more, you know, there should be a little bit more paint here and there, but from what I'm looking at, you know, it at it, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I love these remolded pieces right here. I love these new pieces. These uh you know for the for the bike mode, I think that looks really, really good. Love the detail on this. And um and uh yeah, there's definitely a lot of remolding between uh Junkie and Retgar. Um now if you don't know who Junkie is, well, his real name is actually Junkyard, but unfortunately Hasbro lost the rights to Junkyard, so they had to change his name to Junkie. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, but um, but yeah, it, it's it's basically Redgar's alt mode, but you know, with a uh, with some new tooling here and there, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good in my opinion. And of course, the wheels do roll very, very freely. So yeah, it it, it, it doesn't really roll freely if you uh, don't use the landing skids. Oh, it, it, it. I'm sure that's exactly what a motorcycle sounds like. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Got some landing skids. You can flip out. There we go. And uh, yeah, pretty cool old mode. I I've always loved this old mode for Retgar, and I love it for Junkie. So it's still a pretty cool looking old mode right here. So now he does include 
a pinwheel. Yes, he does include a pinwheel accessory, just like Rengar, and this spins very, very freely and goes quite a while like that. And that's pretty cool. I like that. Look at that. Woo! That's that, that spins very beautifully. Anyway, this stores on the back of the motorcycle, just like Rengar. And there we go. There we have the storage for. Um, uh, the, 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 the weapon. There we go, the weapon storage in Ultimate. There we go. And now he has a fan. And just. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So now, let us bring in Rekgar for the size comparison here. And there you have it. There you have Junk Keep, aka Junkyard. <laughs> Junkyard. There we go. <laughs> Uh, uh, compared with the uh, Studio Series 86 Retgar figure, and uh, yeah, um, it, it's, it definitely looks like the same alt mode, but at the same time, not the same. Like, you can see this front section right here, that is completely remolded, re sculpted, and yeah, that, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't expecting for this section to be very, very different in terms of the molding and see the arm sections. As well for the robot mode is very very different. Uh, of course, this front piece is different, and of course, unlike Repgar, Junkyard has these pieces added in, so that's pretty cool. I like that. And of course, uh, the sections are different. The shoulder sections are different, and of course, this entire section right here, this piece right here, is definitely very very different compared to this piece on Repgar. So they remolded. This piece as well, so yeah, quite a bit of remolding compared between the two. So um, I like that. I really like that. I think there's more remolding um, uh, in the robot mode. I will go into that, you know, when once we get down to robot mode. So, um, but yeah, they definitely did a lot of remolding to uh, to differentiate too. Like you're looking at the same figure, but at the same time you're not looking at the same figure. And I think when they do the heavy retools. They do a really good job at that, so in my opinion, anyway. So, yeah. But anyway, so um, uh, let us reunite Junk Heap, aka Junkyard, with the other Autobots from the uh, the 1986 movie. You know, from the Kingdom line and the SS86 subline. So uh, let's do that. So uh, chop chop. And there you go. There we have SS86 Junk Heap compared with the other Autobot. Uh, with the other Autobots from the uh, the 1986 movie, you know. Hey, we got uh, Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime, we got Studio Series 86 Jazz, 86 Hot Rod, of course, Redgar, Blur, uh, Earthrise Bumblebee, Earthrise RC. Uh, again, Earthrise RC will be replaced with Studio Series 86 RC. And we got Siege Springer on the back right there, I'm not sure you can see it, he's, he's just right there. And 86 Cup, we got Slug and Daniel. Um, we got little Spike and Clip Jumper is right there. I'm sure you can see him. And we got Perceptor, Sludge, Grimlock and Wheelie, Blaster, and finally Ultra Magnus. And yeah, the the 86 Autobot team is shaping up very very nicely. And uh, whoo, whoo, -hoo 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 -hoo. and this table is gonna be very very full once you know all the 86 Autobots have been made. So uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I mean, Blaster definitely fits well with the AA Studio Series 86 subline because you know he was from the 86 uh, he was from the 86 film, and this one is already very very screen accurate as far as I'm concerned. So so it definitely fits. So I don't know if we'll ever get a Studio Series 86 Blaster. I I have no idea, but eh, we shall see what happens. But there you have that, so that is pretty much it for the alt mode comparisons right here. Alrighto, so I think we are pretty much done. Looking at the alt mode itself looks pretty good. I don't think I have any issues with the alt mode whatsoever. Um, yes, there are gaps, but A is a motorcycle, so it works. But um, but yeah, it, I think, yeah, that's, that's, let us transform Mr. Junkie, aka Junkyard into his robot mode. So uh, let's take out the accessory first and get it out of the way. And you wanna flip up the landing skids right now. Flip up the landing skids. And of course you wanna do some parts forming with this figure. 
and I know a lot of people hate parts forming with a passion, but the G1 toy did it, so of course this one has to do it too, so I I don't think, wait, no. No, 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 the G1 toy, I don't think Junk Heap had a G1 toy, did he? Did he? I don't think so. I think Retgar had a G1 toy that actually used parts forming, you know, for the wheels, so. I'm, oh, okay, yeah. I don't think this guy had a G1 toy, I don't think so, but anyway. So just take the wheels, put them off to the side for now, and we shall begin. So now, you want to take the legs and bring them down. And uh, just, un hey, whoa, 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 just un also, okay. Once you have this guy in um, bike mode, you can see there's a tab right here that's supposed to tab into his slot right here to keep that in place. So you have to untab the legs from those slots and bring it down. Just like that, and then bring the foot up, bring the foot up, and there you have the legs all done. So now, what you want to do is you want to untab the arms right here, just untab them, just like that, and just bring all this down, and just bring this up, and bring all this down, just fold all this in, just like that. There we go. And you want to take this section right here, just bring all this in, bring all this in, just feed all this through, and just press on this uh, windshield section right here and just bring this down like so bring these in until they tab into place you know tap the shoulders in place and there is a flush I'm so sorry about that I'm so sorry about the flush okay I, I apologize but anyway so just tap all this in and there you have that done just bring the arm, um, bring the, blah, 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 bring down the arms. Uh, but for uh, okay, just bring down the arms for now, and just make sure the, the crotch is tapped into place. There we go. Just clip that in and bring this down. And there we go. Just stand him up. So now, just raise up the camera. I need to raise up the camera so you can see what I am doing. Oh, I can't raise up the camera. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, he looks all weird. <laughs> he looks all weird. But anyway, so just rotate this around. Actually, you know, you want to bring this section down just like that. Just rotate it around. There we go. And just rotate the arm around. And you want to flip out the hand. And there you have one arm basically all done. So the same thing on the other side. Just rotate this around. So you can see there's a, a little, little little notch cut out for this uh, spike right here just bring this down and just bring it over that spike and flip out his hand and you would be thinking oh you're done but no his head actually has a little bit of a transformation right here you can see these uh, faux, um, faux handlebars um, you want to bring these forward and there we go and I think we're done are we done yes we're done Woo, we are done so there you have Mr. Junk Heap, aka Junkyard, fully transformed into his robot mode. And uh, it looks like Rekgar, but there is a lot of retooling done to the figure here. And uh, yeah, he looks really good in my opinion. Looks freaking awesome. I absolutely love the new tooling that they did to this mold to get to give us a new junkie on so that's that's pretty cool i dig it i really dig it i digs it i digs it so much so okay let's get closer here so you can take a look at the head sculpt the head sculpt is very very nice i love the head sculpt love the head sculpt on this figure man that looks good and i think that looks like junk heap yeah that looks that definitely looks like junk heap i love the new chest detailing that's pretty awesome the new shoulders the new forearms and everything and uh, yeah, they definitely remolded the uh, the top, the the upper body of the uh, of the of the mold. So um, yeah, looks really good. Um, the legs do they definitely look a little bit bare in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean the molding is there, nice molding here and there, but they definitely uh, could have used uh, a lot more color, you know, to break up the brown. But oh well, it is what it is. It's just a little nitpick here and there, but. All in all, all in all, though, it's a great figure, great, great toy. Um, it does suffer from the fact that you know this this section doesn't really tab in super securely. Um, I wouldn't call that an issue because it actually helps with the uh, the app crunch. So 
that's extra articulation for you, so that, 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 that's not really an issue for me. I don't see that as an issue, so no. Um, but yeah, it, it looks yeah it looks really good, and I love these uh, these extra arm pieces on the sides. I think they look really cool, and um, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And I like how this side has a has a gun right here. It's a built-in gun, so that is pretty cool. I like that. I love that. Um, the articulation on this figure is pretty much the same as Retgar, so I'll just um, you know go through the articulation real quick. Uh, ball joint head, you know, can rotate around. Uh, and look up, can't really look down. Shoulders can rotate full 360, move in and out, bicep swivel, elbow joint, you know, wrist ro ro rotation, hands can move down due to transformation, uh, at crunch, you know, waist swivel, you know, legs can move up that far, move back that far, and of course, these can move to accommodate the leg movements. Uh, legs can move out that far, can do the full splits and then some. Uh, you have a thigh swivel, you know, you have a you have a knee joint that goes both ways, you know, hey. Um, you do have a very, very weird ankle tilt, but hey, the ankle tilt is actually pretty tight on this figure. Um, the feet can move up and down and that's it for articulation. So he is very poseable. He is definitely very, very poseable indeed. So um, yeah. Now, of course, you can plug in the wheels to the robot mode now. Red, for Redgar, one wheel goes in the arm and one wheel goes in the leg. But for Junk Heap right here, both wheels go onto the leg. So what you do here is, is just bring this in and just peg that in like that. Um, and just peg this in just like that. And there we go. There, there you have the complete look of Junk Heap's robot mirror. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really like that. That's 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 actually pretty cool. I dig that. Um, of course, you can have him holding his pinwheel weapon. Let's just put this into his hand, just like that. There we go. It's very very tight in his hand. There we go. So there we go. We can still use the pinwheel weapon. So that is pretty cool. So um, so yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the robot mode. You know, what you see is what you get. You know, it's. It's a uh, it's a junkion, you know. It's 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 yeah, it's junkion number two. So yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah. Let us get down to the size comparisons right now. First things first. Here we have Junk Keep, aka Junkyard, fully trans. Uh, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Here we have Junk Keep, aka Junkyard, compared with Autobot. Redgar right here and um, yeah so let us run through the parts that they retooled right here so um, I think they share the same biceps I believe they share the same biceps I think I think anyway don't don't quote me on that but I think they share the same biceps uh, the shoulders are completely different the forearms are completely different do they share hands yes they do they do share hands um, uh, this chest piece right here is completely different. They do share this area right here, but this top piece is definitely different. Of course, the head is different, and uh, you know, with the uh, additional parts, you know, for the arms, right, like that. Um, and of course, another thing that they remolded is the top of the feet. Now, the bottoms of the feet they they do share. The, the bottoms the bottoms of the feet are the same, but they remolded the top. Of the feet because they wanted to uh, to uh, to accommodate these pieces, so they had to remold it so they can have the uh, the tab right here for the uh, for the connection in bike mode. So um, so yeah, they did did quite a bit of remolding to differentiate the two. So um, yeah, and they did a really good job here. So it definitely looks like a totally different character. It's not just a straight recolor with a new head. It, they definitely retooled some bits and pieces to to make it look like. A new character so that's pretty cool I like that you know yeah yeah and they look quite good together uh, they, yeah they look really really good together now if you transform one Junkion you know uh, into the bike mode you can have one Junkion riding on you know the bike mode itself so that that's pretty cool um, I, I didn't really show it off th in this review but if you want to see the Redgar's review um, you can just you know go go just search for it in my Studio Series Reviews playlist, um, which will be linked in the description 
down below so do check that out you know if you if you want if you really want to go back and see my review of Redgar so yeah um, because I think I showed off uh, how you can uh, sit uh, some figures sit se uh, several figures um, onto Redgar's bike mode so I think I showed that off I can't remember <laughs> so um, but yeah but there you go um, so now let us bring in the rest of the uh, the Autobot team from the 86 film itself so chop chop and there you go here we have Junky compared with the rest of the Autobots that appeared in the 86 movies so we have Earthrise Bumblebee, Earthrise Cliff Jumper, well, Netflix Earthrise, same thing. Um, <laughs> 86 Core Class Spike, 86 Jazz, 86 Hot Rod Blur, Earthrise RC, 86 Cup, Siege Springer, Studio Series 86 Retgar, 86 Perceptor, Blaster, and Kingdom Rodimus Prime, Kingdom Magnus, and then we got the three major Dinobots Sludge, Grimlock, and Slug, and then we have Daniel and Wheelie. Of course, these two figures. We, Daniel and Wheelie will be replaced by core class figures soon, so um, yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure the next core class figure in the 86 up line is Wheelie, so this guy will be put in the trash can and then core class Wheelie will take take his place, so I don't know, but <laughs> but um, yes, they look really good together, and uh, I can't wait for the new 86 RC so that it'll be look more, it'll look more, a little bit more cohesive, and then I can't wait to uh, replace this guy with 86 Cliff Jumper, so I definitely need that 86 Cliff Jumper, so um, yeah, they, 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 yeah, these Autobots look really good together, man, they look good together, I love these figures so, so much, so, um, I think my least favorite figure from this whole setup is RC, um, <laughs> I mean, she's not a terrible figure, it's just that, yeah, can, can, like, I, I compare it to the 86 RC and yeah 86 RC is like superior compared to Earthrise RC so yeah I think yeah she's definitely my least favorite but eh, I still like her so but um, she's just a placeholder for now so until I get 86 RC but hey but uh, yeah hooray so that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Junkie, aka Junkyard. And uh, yeah, a really well done figure, in my opinion. I love the amount of retooling that they did to this figure. Definitely differentiates him from Redgar a lot. Because I look at this figure and I, and I feel like, oh, I'm looking at the same toy, but at the same time, it's not the same toy. <laughs> so, yeah, and... Um, there's definitely some extra pieces of transformation here and there, like the, the, these arm pieces. That's pretty cool. I like that. And um, I love how the wheels go on the legs. Um, like for Redgar, only one wheel goes to one goes onto one leg, and then the other wheel goes into one arm. But for Junkie, both of the wheels go on both legs, so that is pretty cool. So that's awesome. Um, he definitely has a loose waist connection, which is unfortunate, but. It actually helps him gain an app crunch, so it's not really a big issue for me. It's a minor issue. And my one other nitpick with this figure is uh, the lack of paint on the uh, on the brown legs right here. Definitely could have used a bit more color to break the brown, but other than that, he looks really good in robot mode. Looks really awesome in bike mode. Looks yeah, just just full of Mad Max <laughs> for the bike mode. So. Love both of his modes as far as I'm concerned. Articulation is still perfect. Transformation is fun, enjoyable. Therefore, this figure is a fun figure to mess with. It's 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 just enjoyable to mess with. As far as I'm concerned, it's wow. Just there's no clearance issues with the transformation for this figure. The transformation is just all around fun to do. Just yeah. So yeah. yeah. All in all though, I'm very pleased with this figure itself, so. Yep. So um, yeah. For, uh, from a scale of one to ten, I'm, def I'm, do I'm definitely going to give this guy a nine out of ten. So definitely could have been a bit better, like in terms of the solid, in terms of the waist connection and the paint. You know, my paint issue with the, uh, the plain brown legs. But other than that, it's, it's yeah, just just other than that, I just have no issues with it whatsoever. Just. Everything works as it should. So yeah, nine out of ten, great figure, well done figure. Kudos to you, Hasbro. Really, really good job here. So, 
and uh, yeah. Now I got this figure from Kaki Toy. Um, you can get this figure anywhere, I guess. I mean, if this figure is available in your area, you can go and go ahead and get it because I do recommend this one. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know, Junkions are a lot of fun. Me personally. So um, yeah, just just hunt them down somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Just 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 go. Just 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 do it. You know. <laughs> but um. But yeah. But that, that is where I got it. I got this from Kaki Toy. That's where I got it. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know, so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my. Studio series reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed, so I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformer Studio Series 86 Forger class Junk Keep, aka Junkyard, and this is JJ Bram signing off. Peace out to all the one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yay! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.